Welcome back. Falls are the leading cause of all injuries, including fatal ones to older adults. So it's important to be able to prevent falls if you can. And we're so pleased today to welcome physical therapists from court to give you some information on how to prevent those falls and why they happen to some people in the first place. Thank you so much for being with us Thank today. Thank you for having us. Tell us, um, why is fall prevention such an important thing to talk about, especially with our older population? Well, just a few statistics. Um, basically, according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention, uh, fatal and non-fatal injuries are quite large in patients that are uh, above, in, in, in people that are 65 and above. And so, in fact, one-third of people that fall are over 65. So it becomes a, a big issue for people to try to know how to prevent falls. Certainly so. Now, I was reading some of the information that you sent us earlier that there are some people that may be more at risk. What are some of those things you should consider if you have some of these risk factors? Um, well, one of the things as a physical therapist uh, is we definitely look at muscle weakness, um, it, uh, for sure the, the lower extremities, but just general body weakness. There may be some uh, poor vision that we would have to uh, look at and address. If someone is taking more than four medications at a time, they're higher risk. And um, as well as uh, if somebody just has a fear of falling, they are uh, put their, some, themselves at risk because they just don't want to move and then they become weaker and low endurance. Now some people may be thinking, I have some of these risk factors, I'm getting older, I'm just gonna fall. But there are some things that you can do through physical therapy that can actually prevent falls or lessen the chance of injury, right? Yeah, absolutely. Like I said, uh, with, with muscle weakness, we definitely would target those muscles that are weak to work on strengthening exercises, we educate patients. Um, say we, we may tell patients to uh, get increased lighting in their homes or pick up rugs that are on the floor, uh, cords that may be, uh, cause a, a trip or so, and just decrease cl uh, clutter. One of the things we have in our clinic is that we've had fun with is the We Fit, so it gives somebody a, a visual to be able to see uh, what they're like and what their balance is and also um, to work on strengthening with that. So. And what would you suggest to folks who may be hearing this, knowing they have some of the risk factors, maybe they've fallen or are worried about falling, what should they do as far as contacting you to, to get involved in some kind of program? Well, they can call any of our clinics. Uh, we're in Lexington and the surrounding areas. Um, I think you have our 1-800 number um, there, so they can call us at any time. One, uh, one group of people that we've not mentioned before is uh, patients with vertigo. Uh, we do see that, and that is a, a, a wonderful thing that physical therapy can help with. So if they have any questions about that or vestibular rehabilitation, we'd we'll be happy to talk to them about that. Wonderful. And you've seen there the number on the screen. Also, the court website, um, court.com, has a lot of information, and you can see all the clinics. You guys are all over the place in Central we Kentucky. Are. So there's a good chance there's a location near you if you're interested in therapy and certainly learning more about fall prevention and how to avoid it. Thank you so much for Thank being you. with us. Rob Thank Swayze, you. physical therapist and orthopedic specialist with court.